This next exercise is called the lateral bending exercise against resistance. What you're going to do is sounds, it's very straightforward. You're going to bend your head as far as you can to one side. You're going to hold it. Then you're going to try to stress that motion extra millimeter or two. Then you're going to place your hand on one side of your head, holding it constricted. And then you're going to push back against it. Then you're going to put your hand on the other side of your head, holding it constricted, and then push isometrically into tension. Then you're going to bring your head back to midline, and then you're going to repeat on the opposite side. Let me show you. And I like to, again, I like you to do these exercises standing, but at the beginning, while you're just starting, you can do them sitting to feel a little bit more secure. So you're going to take your head, you're going to bend it as far as you can to one side, you're going to hold it. Then you're going to try to push your motion an extra millimeter or two. Then with my hand on the opposite side of my head of the rotation, I'm going to hold it. And then I'm going to push back into resistance. Then I'm going to place my hand on the other side of my head. And I'm going to hold it and I'm going to push into resistance. I let go and bring my head back to midline. Then I'm going to repeat to the opposite side, then go an extra millimeter or two. I'm going to put my hand on the opposite side of my head, push into resistance, and then put my hand on the other side of my head and push into resistance. And then bring your head back to midline. I want you to hold that resistance and use a resistance that you feel comfortable with that is good tension, that will stress the muscles, but does not cause pain. And it is really important when you let go of that resistance to hold the head for a moment in that position before you bring your head back to midline. Make sure that the, the, the ranges of motion that you're in, again, are pain-free. And if you can't extend that extra millimeter without pain, just do it within that first range of motion until you get good at this and you keep doing it consistently because it's the consistency in doing these exercises all together which is going to transform the health of your cervical spine.